Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue the remaining portion of uh, phylum pieces. And in the last class, we have learned about co class Chondrichthys. Today we are starting with the class Ostichthys. Ostichthys includes all bony fishes, and this uh, almost all existing living fishes are uh, coming under this bony fishes group. And we are going to see its general features. Body is spindle shaped. Body means it is uh, sorry. Body is spindle shaped. Spindle shape means what? In what type? Uh, both ends are pointed. That type of body is called spindle shaped body. Uh, next slide. Uh, regarding the fins, pectoral and pelvic. Uh, fins are present and also they are paired. Paired means uh, two uh, are in number. Pectoral fins are two and pelvic fins are, are also two. Along with that, a median fin also there. That median fin is unpaid. And caudal fin, what about the peculiarity of the caudal fin? Caudal fin is homocircle. Oh, homocircle means what? Homocircle means uh, the two ends. Two ends are of equal length that is the homocircle uh, property then coming to skin uh, what is the peculiarity uh, the bone the fishes that is coming under this class uh, may have different types of uh, skin means different means with respect to the type of the scale that is present on that skin and different types of uh, scales are cycloid are there, tenoid are there and ganoid. Uh, these are the names of some type of scales that is present on the skin of the bony fishes. I will show the image of uh, that one. Uh, these are the images of different type of scales. This is placoid scale. Placoid scale, I already told you when I am teaching you about shark. Uh, placoid scale have uh, three props. Means three pointed regions are there. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, three pointed regions are there. And then another one is ganoid scale. Ganoid scale has this type of shape. This is cycloid, almost cyclical shape. Uh, tenoid scale means it has some teeth like portion on its base that is regarding the different types of scales so fish is coming under this uh, ostichthys uh, is uh, having uh, different types of skills uh, sorry scales on its skin next uh, um, endoskeleton regarding the endoskeleton uh, it is bony. Bony means uh, uh, this class of fishes are bony fishes. So the endoskeleton, its uh, skeleton is very hard. Uh, so uh, we are calling it as bony fishes. Regarding the mouth, mouth is all, always present. Terminal. Terminal means what? Terminal means if we draw uh, a fish, its mouth will be always in the tip. That is terminal. Terminal with the Homodon. Homodon means all the teeth, uh, all the teeth look alike, similar. Uh, this is heterodon. Heterodon means uh, um, all teeth have a different, different shape and size. So in bony fishes, the teeth is homodon. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, yeah, cloaca. Regarding what is cloaca? In the last class, uh, I have explained what is cloaca. Uh, cloaca means it is a opening. Opening common for eliminating, discharging waste as well as sex cells. In the case of this bony fishes, the cloaca is absent. And alimentary canal opens out by anus. Okay. Uh, regarding the gills, how many pairs of gills are present? Four pairs of gills are Present and is covered by open coulomb. Okay. Then spiracles. Spiracles are absent here. In shark, uh, we, we learned that we have learned that spiracles are present. What is this important in the uh, last class? Okay, next. Air bladder is present. Then heart uh, is venous, means uh, it carries impure blood. One oracle and one ventricle is present. Kidney is mesonephric, sorry, mesonephric. 
मीजोनेफ्रिक मीन्स हाउ वॉट टाइप ऑफ किडनी दैट ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टू इन इन डिटेल इन द फॉर्म क्लासेस सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिपीट इट एनी मोर then the coming to brain uh, brain is with a small olfactory lobes in the former class uh, i think you remember that olfactory lobes are big and be small developed and uh, 10 pairs of cranial nerves nerves emanating from the brain uh, what is this number 10 pairs lateral like sense organ is well developed the reproductory aspects sexes are separate uh, some are oviparous some are ovoviviparous ovoviviparous means they are a uh, 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 egg laying as well as they give birth to egg ones uh, both uh, type of character is present um, in some fishes next uh, sorry next uh, ostichthys ostichthys its division Uh, until now we have seen its general characteristics now we are going to see the sub classes um, uh, sub divisions of the ostichthys so, ostichthys is divided into two sub classes coanichthys and actinoptergy actinoptergy and first we are going to learn about the features then the features of sub class coanichthys uh, special feature it possesses a special feature what is a special feature presence of a coani what is coani coani we can see here it is internal nostril what is its uh, significant it connect the olfactory sac with the buccal cavity olfactory sac it connects the nasal passage with the buccal cavity such an opening uh, internal nostril or other way is called coani is the special feature so that's why this class is called coanichthys next a uh, popular name uh, of this group of fishes is, is fleshy fishes or low finned fishes or air breathing fishes okay then coanichthys is again divided into two order which are those orders crossoptergy and dipnoi all these classification we have learned in detail in the beginning of this chapter okay you have to uh, connect your memory with that uh, while going, while i am telling telling you about each type of classification each step of classification okay okay anyway we are going to see that order crossoptergy crossoptergy is otherwise called coelacanths what's the common name they are called fringe finned or low finned fishes okay uh, Like other one, its features are scales. What about its scales? They are very hard, armored scales, hard scales. And fins, fins are lobate fins. Lobate fins means what? Uh, lobate means suppose this is a fin. Fin means dorsal fin, pectoral fin, uh, pelvic fin. Uh, all those are fins. And here what peculiarity? Uh, the point where the fin attached with the body of the fish has a an extension a lobe like portion means uh, an elongated portion oh, so, so uh, that is a uh, peculiarity uh, so that's why the fin is said to be lobate and in the case of caudal fin how many lobes are present three lobes are present uh, three such lobes can be seen in the case of uh, caudal fin i will show that caudal fin uh, three lobes are present in this way 1 2 3 three, three lobes are present so there is another feature spiracles are present in this order internal nostril also uh, can be present or sometimes it is absent air bladder is present but vestigial vestigial means that structure is present but is not functional an example for uh, this order is latimeria very 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 important why it is important uh, it is considered as a living fossil it is the only surviving example under this order so it's very 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 uh, important very very important which one this latimeria latimeria chalumna that is uh, full uh, name
writing this one where slightly value is very important. Next, uh, Latimeria. What is this peculiarity? Is what is fusiform. Fusiform is another uh, name for spindle shape. This fin spindle uh, shape. Both ends are pointed. And uh, steel blue color and irregular white patches we can see in its body. Regarding the location, where we can uh, found, uh, where is its habitat? It's usually found in Western Indian Ocean and Kenya. And it can go uh, till 2 meter and it can gain 80 kilo uh, gram weight. Uh, scales, it is com uh, composed of small scale and the type of scale in the picture itself you can see its uh, shape. Uh, fins, what is the peculiarity? It's lobed fins. I already explained to you what is lobed fin. Uh, and uh, regarding the caudal fin, that's one also lobed. Uh, all the fins are lobed. And this lobed fins, it is telling that it is the precursor of limbs. Uh, limbs means four limbs, four limbs uh, of terrestrial elements. It's pre is uh, precursor is for is initial uh, reminiscence that is is that long lobed condition then external nostrils present two uh, pairs two pairs means four openings are present and one pair it is anterior and other is posterior air bladder is pre um, present and feed, regarding the feeding habit mouth uh, is present with a small pig they are all Carnivorous and feeds on other fishes. They are all carnivore, carnivorous. Um, and uh, one more point regarding its caudal fin. Uh, this is shape. Uh, you look what is the peculiarity. Uh, somewhat a peculiar shape we can see. Uh, that type of um, caudal fin is called a uh, defi circle uh, tail. Defi circle Tail. So, this um, Latimeria has a defi circle tail. Digestive system. Uh, intestine is with a spiral valve. Uh, regarding this point also, I have uh, told you in, uh, in our former classes. Notochord. Notochord is massive. It is cartilaginous and unconstricted. Heart. It is primitive and is S-shape. Yes uh, shape of the heart is S. Yes. It is with the atrium, uh, ventricle, then sinus venosus and conus arteriosus. One uh, oracle is there, ventricle is there. And that pouch is sinus venosus and conus arteriosus also present. Kidney. Two kidneys are present. It is fused to form a uh, median kidney. So, the two kidney that is present, it, both those kidneys fused to form uh, a median kidney. Kidney. Then we are going to the other order that is dipnoi. Dipnoi um, uh, is the another order of osteitis. Um, its common name is lung fishes. What is its common name? Uh, lung fishes. It is considered as the ancestor of amphibians. It is another important thing. What are its features? Body is long and slender. Gills are present, but it's reduced one in each side. Only one in uh, each side. Scales are cycloid scale. Cycloid scale also I have uh, shown you. I, it looks like somewhat cyclical itself. Cycloid scales. Cycloid scales. Then uh, operculum, air bladder and internal areas are present. Uh, then uh, air bladder is single or sometimes it is paired and so in some fishes it is modified to a lung like a structure. Then regarding the fins, fins are lobate here also. Dorsal and ventral fins are confluent with the caudal fin. <laughs> Sorry, caudal fin. Confluent with the uh, caudal fin means what? Uh, dorsal. Suppose this is a fish fish and it this is its uh, caudal fin caudal fin and here the dorsal fin 
it is uh, extending towards back and joining with the uh, caudal fin. Vendor fin also like that. It is uh, extending and joining. It is continuous with the caudal fin. Both uh, seems like that a continuous fin in that way. Dorsal fin also extends and continues with the caudal fin. Vendor fin also grows backwards and continues with the caudal fin. Heart. What about the heart? Heart is somewhat similar to amphibian heart. It's a, okay, next. Example. Example of this order. Diploi is Protopterus. Protopterus, common name, Nile lungfish or African lungfish. It can grow up to 6 feet. Body is elongated. Here we can see that dorsal fin and that vendor fin is continuous with the caudal fin. Body is elongated, cylindrical and eel-like. Eel means this uh, type of shaped fishes. Scales are sideboard scales. Fins uh, are uh, long, filamentous and without fin rays. Fin rays means that uh, a strong uh, support that is present in the fins. And uh, then... Uh, gills are five. It is covered by operculum. Respiration how? With the help of gills and air bladder. Then regarding the parental care. Parental care this is one uh, important thing. An important feature. Uh, can, behavior they are showing. Um, first they made uh, holes in the mud. And later uh, they fill that uh, hole with uh, grass, uh, dried grass and uh, like that, such, uh, like sort of materials. And then only later they lay their eggs in that hole. Uh, and they guard their eggs. And uh, the larva that comes out with is sucker suck and external gills. And regarding the movement, um, it uh, swim and also it can walk using the Payer fins. It can swim as well as it can walk using the payer fins. And they show another feature that is summer sleep or aestivation. What is that? Because when there is drought, means that if, the, if there is no sufficient water, then it secretes a mucus cocoon around its body and burrowed inside the mud by breathing atmosphere oxygen. That time, I breathe the um, breathe oxygen that is taken from the atmosphere. There is another important property shown by this fish. Fish. Okay. Uh, next we are going to uh, the other subclass that is actinoptergy. Okay. Actinoptergy regarding its habitat, it is found in oceans, freshwater streams, and ponds. Whatever is common name, they are called ray finned fishes. They are called ray finned fishes. And regarding its fins, it is supported by dermal fin rays. That's why it's called ray finned fishes. Dorsal fin, it is single, but it is divided into two parts. That means two parts means uh, dorsal fin are present in this type of fishes, but uh, it is divided like that. Two dorsal fins are, can be seen. Two parts. Tail fin is homocircle. Homocircle means what? Uh, they are of equal um, uh, length. Nostrils, internal nostrils are absent. Next we are going to is classification. The uh, super orders that comes under subclass actinoterology. Uh, Chondrosti, holosti and telosti. And this telosti is a big order. It includes almost all common fishes that we are seeing now. And uh, this one we can uh, learn in another class. And the other two we are going to see now. Okay. Super order contrasty. Popular name they are called primitive ray finned fishes. They are called primitive ray finned. Ray finned fins are with rays. Head uh, is uh, covered with the dermal plates, means hard scales on the head. Mouth is large and toothless jaws. Mouth is large, is large and the jaws are present without teeth. Fins, caudal fin is heterocircle. Heterocircle, in, the, in this picture you can see that. that uh, 
the two uh, halves are of unequal length. Skeletal system is cartilaginous uh, with some ossification. Ossification means some um, hard, hard, hardness. Uh, you can see uh, in some places. Um, persistent, not a person. Respiratory aspects, spiracles are present. Uh, air bladder is present. It is functioning as lung. Digestive system is with a spiral bulb. All these points you can easily memorize by uh, by writing all these uh, uh, features in that ta uh, table that I have uh, that I told you in the in the midway in this chapter itself. So do that. It's very important. And then super order contrasty. Super order contrasty uh, that it can be divided into two order: a sequentiary form and a polyptery form. A C pensary form example we are going to learn is a C pensor and polyptery forms example is polypterus. This is the C pensor fish habitat. Uh, it is found in the rivers of Europe and Asia. Regarding the head, it is elongated. It has having a elongated snout. Here, eyes are small and mouth is ventral. Uh, it is present in its ventral side. And also it is tubular mouth. Jaws are reduced without teeth. It's a peculiarity. All these points you can uh, remember or recollect uh, while thinking uh, in connection with that uh, head attribute in our table. Skin. What about the skin? Skin scales are Absent. Uh, five rows of grooved dermal scutes uh, in five rows. Uh, in this image, that uh, uh, rows is not that much visible. Anyway, uh, uh, here one, two, three, maybe uh, the other two rows is present on the other side. Five rows of grooved dermal scutes with spines, we can see. Tail is heterocircal with the ganoid scales. Ganoid scales means this is the shape of ganoid scales. Respiratory aspects, spiracles are present. Five pairs of gill slits are also present. Then skeletal system. Skeletal system regarding the skeletal system. Uh, except the dermal bones of the head. Other bones, other parts are cartilaginous. That means they are soft. Then vertebrae is incomplete and also with a constricted knot or cord. That is regarding the skeletal system. Vertebrae is incomplete and with a constricted knot or cord. Uh, additional information also there. Uh, feeding. How they feed? By stir up mud to expose small uh, invertebrates. Using that snout, it is tear up the mud to expose small invertebrates. Primitive characters are also present like a uh, Spiracles, unconstricted notochord, heterocircal tail, corners, arterioles, etc. Next is super order holosty. Uh, they have characteristics between uh, the controsty and telosty. Uh, its uh, character stood between that controsty and telosty. And commonly, they are called the intermediate rafe interfaces. Body how body is elongated and the skin is covered with the ganoid or cycloid scales. Mouth is terminal and small. Caudal fit heterocircle. Skeleton persistent notochord is there. Some ossification. Ossified uh, skeleton uh, is present. Then that super order holosty. Okay. Controsis over holosty. It's uh, example, it's um, uh, um, subdivisions. semi onoti forms and emiforms. semi onoti forms and emiforms. For that, uh, what which examples we are going to see? Uh, the semi onoti forms is example is uh, Lepisostis uh, and uh, the other uh, order under holosty that is emiforms. Its example is Emia. Uh, so these two are. The orders under holosty. Uh, first, we are going to see the general features of Lepisostis. Common name there it is gar pike. Habitat uh, what uh, habitat is uh, fresh waters of North and Central America. Body is elongated and 
cylindrical that we can clearly understood from seeing this image. Skin is covered with the ganoid scales. Its shape I already shown you in the former slide. Uh, then head is pointed with a snout. Sharp teeth are present. Fins regarding the fins, caudal fin. Uh, what peculiarity? It is a modified heterocircle, but resembles homocircle. Actually, heterocircle, but uh, look wise, uh, easily we can mistake it, it as homocircle. Caudal fin. Actually, it is heterocircle. Respiratory aspects, air bladder is present, it opens into the pharynx and it is lung like in function. Skeleton, it is ossified with the dermal bony plates. It is hard and using dermal bony plates. Then vertebrae is opistocelus. Opistocelus means what? Uh, it is bulged on anterior side and depressed on the posterior side. Side. Opistocelus vertebrae, I will show the image. Uh, this is the image of different types of vertebrae. And uh, I am first I am explaining opistocelus. What do you mean by op opistocelus? Opistocelus, uh, his image is shown here. Um, and regarding each vertebrae, uh, it has a syndrome. Syndrome, this is the Centra, this uh, slight orange color region is the centra. And uh, each centrum is uh, inserted to the centrum of the um, vertebrae that is located in its posterior side. It means it's, uh, it is back. In that way, vertebrae is arranging. And regarding the shape of anterior and posterior end of this centrum, we are classifying vertebrae. In opisto, opisto means back. Uh, so, this is the opisto. Uh, in this type of vertebrae, the back side is concave. Understand? That is opistocelus. Uh, then, procelus is there. Procedo means anterior. Here, the anterior end is concave. Okay. Then, yesilus means there is no uh, concave ends. It is flat. Both anterior and posterior end is flat. And amphicillus means both side. Both side is concave. Both side here, here we can see. This is concave, this is concave. <laughs> there is different type of vertebrae. And in this type of fish, the vertebrae is opistocelus. Next is super order telosti. Super order telos T we can learn. We can start in the next class. Okay, with this we can finish today's section and class. Thank you.